I have been waiting for this movie for years. But video game movies are a mixed bag. You have good ones, and you have bad ones. Making Warcraft into a movie wouldn't be easy. How do you appeal to a mass audience, yet still keep the game fans happy? You go back to the beginning. So this isn't World of Warcraft the MMO. This is the RTS, Orcs vs. Humans. That means no Tauren, and that made me sad. The Orcs' homeworld of Draenor is dying, so they build a portal to Azeroth. Gul'dan, the Orc's leader, is using some pretty screwed up fell magic which wrecks everything. But Orc Chief Durotan sees history repeating itself. If the Orcs continue on this path, they'll wreck Azeroth the same way they trash Draenor. Plus, he has a new baby to think of. That was an oversimplified summary. There's a lot going on in this movie. It has to set up an entire cinematic universe and it has to get the audience to care enough to come back for the sequels. That's a big task. It may seem presumptuous to expect sequels when they're making this movie, but there's a huge story here, and one movie wouldn't do it justice. Imagine Lord of the Rings crammed into one movie, or The Hobbit crammed into a single book. Okay, bad example. Lord of the Rings had the luxury of having the entire trilogy greenlit at once, so they could take 9 to 12 hours to tell the story. If Warcraft bombs, we wouldn't see the rest. Gul'dan is played by Daniel Wu. He's creepy, psychotic, if a little short-sighted. Paula Patton is Garona, a half-orc, half-human, who acts as a bridge between factions. Expect this to show up at cosplay events in the future. Ben Foster is Medivh, the guardian mage of Azeroth, and he's kind of a big deal. Fan service is running wild. We see Ironforge, Stormwind, Westfall. They even cram a murloc in there. The only thing missing was a half-naked elf dancing on a mailbox. But just you wait for the sequel. I like that the orcs weren't portrayed as mindless killing brutes. Durotan is especially sympathetic. I genuinely cared about him. Not bad for a digital character. Orcs facial capture was astounding. Their faces were emotional, subtle movements, little tics, nose twitches, and their eyes were soulful. Unlike other CGI creations, I'm not naming names. Okay, this one creeps me out every time. When certain orcs die, I felt bad. When certain humans died, I didn't care as much, so I don't know what that says about me. Most of the effects were good. The music was well suited. No techno dubstep from the trailer. It even had the game theme at the end. Awesome! And the fights were brutal. People are bashed, stabbed, horses are thrown about, blood everywhere. And that was just the line to get in. What was it missing? Torin. And there's a big battle at the end, the war in Warcraft after all, and it's pretty costly. It definitely surprised me. Critics are hating on this movie, but I think it's pretty entertaining. And damn well done for a video game movie. Add this one to the good category. I hope they make sequels. We need to see where this goes. Pandas. So that was my review of Warcraft. If you like this video, subscribe, like, and encourage our behavior. I'm Bullworth, thanks for watching, I'll see you later.